Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we have the Acer 50-inch uh, 4K Ultra HD i series TV. Uh, it's the Android TV, and I recently reviewed the 40-inch TV. I wasn't too uh, happy about the dis the display quality and how the TV is overall. But this one, uh, let's check it out. Before getting into the video, do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon, and don't forget to like the video. Also, if you have any queries, do hit me up down in the comment section and I will respond to all your queries. So this is the Acer 50 inch TV. And as you can see, uh, there it is a 4K Ultra HD, HDR10 plus and a white color gamut plus. It's got Dolby Atmos, uh, so Dolby Audio. It's got a 30 watt uh, high fidelity speaker which is good obviously it has uh, all the apps it has even got android tv os 11 which is good it's got a chromecast inbuilt and the good thing which i like about this one and the earlier 40 inch which i reviewed uh, i will link that in the description so that you can go and check it out um, it has got something known as fastcast which basically lets your apple devices also get uh, casted on the tv so I think overall this is the one which you should get if you want to spend the extra money but I will let's review it further and I will tell you everything about it so right off the bat you can see that it has got a really really sharp display so if I if I zoom in uh, you can see that the display quality is really good uh, the colors and all of those things are really really up to the mark and i'm really happy with this entire tv and how the color is overall uh, we will do a speaker uh, test also of the tv so stay tuned for that now uh, i have unboxed this but i have still not uh, taken out the film so there is a film on this the entire tv has got a film on it so i have not removed the packaging yet uh, let's look at uh, this side of the tv so here you have uh, the power cable going in so that's the only thing which is there on this side of the tv and overall it's a pretty thin uh, setup so it's not that fat or huge according to me um, but over here on this side of the entire setup you have the ports so you have a usb type a uh, second usb type a which is i think the fast one which is this one you also have an ethernet slot you have the normal uh, cable out then you have the uh, fiber optic cable as well which is really good three hdmi ports uh, a video out and an audio out so i think overall pretty good setup you can also wall mount this but i have not done it i have put it on the stand as you can see so a uh, pretty neat i think uh, it's a overall good setup to be very frank so this is the remote uh, which it comes with uh, it's pretty responsive there are no qualms about it the first thing which i would want to show you is this part where you click on the smart button so the smart button and it comes up with these options which are pretty interesting so obviously you have uh, music and all of that but the good interesting part is that it has got something known as meeting so if you click on the meeting part this screen comes up now here you can wirelessly cast your uh, windows mac android and iphone you can also choose what source you want to do it so this is the entire layout which we just saw you can even have a, a document over here directly you can have a timer uh, you can have a world clock and you can also use the remote as a laser uh, to point out if you're doing some presentation or something personally i am really impressed with this entire setup uh, now going back to smart you have a night mode which dims the tv as you, if you can pick this up i'm not sure if the camera is able to pick it up but it is dimming the tv the brightness just goes down uh, the other part is obviously you do have world clock so you'll be able to see all the timings and you can add more uh, clocks here there's a sleep trimer and now let's look at the fast cast so the fast cast is also as i said pretty interesting it allows you to cast uh, your iphone over here 
uh, obviously android is there but iphone is something which is a uh, pretty good right you you get this with high end tvs like samsung and lg uh, and sony uh, where you pay a lot of uh, money and that that is how you get airplay but here you actually get airplay even with this tv which is uh, according to me um, a really good addition by acer over here now coming to uh, the home part again so the remote is pretty uh, simple as you can see it's got the power key uh, mute key home and all of that the smart key which we just saw uh, it's got the tv settings which are there okay let me go back to home yeah now settings so these are the tv settings not the android tv settings so you have uh, picture and display here you have got uh, motion compensation you've got clarity where you have uh, 3d noise reduction block noise reduction and all of those things going on uh, you have got live color which i have turned on and that's why i guess the color looks so good um, backlight uh, uh, backlight is at full brightness you have dynamic contrast eco setting i have switched it off because i like to see the screen to be really really bright so uh, that's why i have done it like that uh, now again going into settings under sound uh, as i said it has got dolby audio so you can obviously if you want to connect another speaker you can do it otherwise the tv itself sounds pretty good uh, we will listen to this so i have switched on dolby audio uh, it gives a good overall base Uh, to the entire uh, audio experience so personally i really like that you also have some settings over here going on like you have uh, a dialog enhancement which you can switch on you can even choose who, how much dialog uh, en enhancement do you want and this is all controlled by the dolby software which it has so pretty uh, decent over there now if i if i have to go back and show you uh Uh, maybe something on youtube i will pull up one of my videos so that you can see uh, the overall screen and how it looks so i have uh, brought up one of my recent videos if you're interested in the skoda kushak review you should go and check this out i have spoken about uh, really bad things which are there in the car so you definitely go should go and check it out um now i have set it to uh, 2160p which is uh, 4k and uh, everything else is normal and this is a 4k tv so this should be fine we will talk about the problems with this car there are a lot of them so while we listen to the audio if i press the audio over here you have these options which come up so you can either select music movies standards sports or news depending upon the content you're listening to you can change uh, the equalizer to be in that mode so now if you are listen, listening to i mean you're watching a youtube this thing then we can obviously turn on the movie setting and now i will just put i will just put on the volume to the maximum so that you can hear the speakers now even if i put this on reverse it will give this message you have to press cancel and then you can see it works and then you do have uh, an automatic uh, up down control over here so that's there yeah that's that's there. okay now this is an issue which which this car has so as you saw i did not stop it but if i if i if sometimes there's there's supposed to be an update on this but if sometimes i i go ahead and pull up the window it just does not pull up it gets stuck it gets pulled down and it's kind of irritating how this is skoda is supposed to release an automatic uh, i mean an, an update for this so this was the overall sound quality and the picture quality i think uh, it is pretty pretty loud uh, there is a lot of punch in the sound and as you can see uh, there is there is a lot of clarity as well in the overall screen i mean it overall display uh, you can actually uh, obviously it depends on the camera as well as i guess but the content which you are watching if it is 4k you will see everything like 
it is absolutely clear right now you can read uh, the font which is extremely crisp and clear uh, the display is absolutely stunning and uh, the colors also are really good like you can pick up my hand over here uh, obviously that's in bright sun but here if you see the skin tones are also absolutely correct i think uh, it's a good overall tv um, i would highly recommend this and if you have any questions do hit me up down in the comment section if you want me to uh, talk about anything else uh, about this tv let me know uh, i don't need to say much you can see it for yourself it's an excellent tv and google uh, android tv uh, 11 uh, pretty good that's all from my side as usual thanks for watching